But he couldn't protect Muhammad, the greatest example of mankind, from poison. But as a Christian, your God could not even save himself from the cross. Brother, it was a prophecy from the no, start of Genesis 3.15. Let's, let's Jesus let's Christ willed to die for us. He's a hero wait, dying wait, for our friends. Do you worship no, Muhammad? Do you worship Muhammad? Of course not. So why do you pray to him? How do you pray to him? He is dead, so why do you, why do you pray to okay, him? Peace be upon you, O Prophet. Question? No problem. What's the intention you read? Do you mean like, what, we're going to be... So, so you, yeah, so we're going to be safe with Allah. It depends, you're talking about the condition of Salah. Yeah, yeah, it's Salah. So when you, salah, you have to have the intention that you're going to be worshipping Allah. Exactly. Exactly. Salah is only for Allah, right? That's a good example. Namaz, namaz is only for Allah. But when you're saying peace be upon your Prophet, you're associating him with Allah in worship. Let me ask, brother. You're running away, brother. You're running away. Okay, you can see he's running away from the original question. Refute the answer about Jesus Christ's knowledge of Allah. Okay, guys, 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 come on. Okay, okay, okay. We're speaking nicely. Speak nicely, like how we were speaking before. Before all these cameras came here, be the same humble. Okay, okay. I want to see. But yes, let me speak. You're not being humble. You're not being humble. You're okay. Side man over there, shouting all over. No, no, no. So, David, David. Okay. Every so, brother, let me speak. Is that your tactic or something? Bro? Brother, so you know when he said, what, you know, you know when he, you know when he said about no, you Jesus. Have to let me speak now. But I, I'm gonna say no, something. You'll be saying for all this time. You'll be speaking for two minutes. But you did. But let me just say this. This, 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 this is this is relevant to the question. You're speaking a lot. If when Jesus allow me to finish. One minute. Go speak. No, go. It's not fair now. Okay, speak. 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 Be here to be honest with you. Go speak. Right now, what we're doing, we literally diverted the topic multiple times. Let's look at the hour. The hour. The hour. The hour. The hour. The hour. So if you want to only speak about the hour, that's absolutely fine. That's about yeah. So the foundation. The foundation is that, for example, even in Christianity, yeah, let's be fair, yeah, the Aramaic language that Jesus spoke with, that oh, Arab, can I please, the hour, we're talking the hour first. You have to go, you have to refute that. Then I'll go to this I'm question. Go back to that. Don't, I'm going to go okay. back to that. Yeah. That's the reason why I'm mentioning Aramaic. Change the subject, though. I'm just right. Okay, go on. Look, you see if I'm changing the subject or not. So I'm saying, when it comes to the Bible in itself, the original Bible was in the Aramaic language. We can see that. No, 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 no. Okay. Jesus, wait, I have to Okay, let me say. Okay, go on. Okay, go on. Okay. Okay. Did you speak Hebrew? Yes. Did you speak Aramaic? He spoke Aramaic, Greek, and Hebrew. Absolutely. Okay. Second, and Greek was the international language for Koine yeah. Philippe. Yeah. Greek was the international well, well, language at that time. Well, so people were writing it in Greek. The Greek language of Jesus. <laughs> did you say that's debatable with the scholars? I say, I haven't looked at this quality consensus, but I think some people, I heard it, I heard it, I heard it, some people like Bruce Metzler yeah. or Bart Ehrman, yeah. they know that Greek was an uh, international language at that time. Mm. It's not debatable. The point is, look, the point I'm trying to make is, you what you, where, you, you don't even know anything about this. I've got it, I've got it. I've got it. Again, you're interrupting again. Look, when it comes where to the end, scholars, no, because I want to speak about Islam. Okay. Once again, once okay, let's go to the end. Talk about Islam. He lied before about the scholars. I'm going to walk away. He couldn't even find one. No, I don't. You lied. No, brother, ask me. I'm saying, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I'm saying, I'm happy to show that, but the problem is, when Mona makes another conversation, when Mona makes another conversation, when Mona makes another conversation, I need to need to go to my notes. If you, if you're sincere, wait till then. No. Brother, we'll let you finish. I'll let you finish. You don't dictate. Bro, I want you to finish. Worry, I want you to finish. I want you to finish. Go, 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 go,
It was a Fusa Arabic, yeah, Fusa and the Quraysh dialect. That same Arabic that we have right now, we can go back to it. And we can even see the poetry back then, and we can compare it. So alhamdulillah, we can see the original word, the original language. But Christians, you're not able to do that. But I don't, I don't get why you think the Bible was written in Aramaic. I told you, Jesus, we can see it in the Bible, Jesus spoke in Hebrew, in Greek and Aramaic, right? The international language at that time was Koine Kalei, right? I'll, let, I'll get to that in a minute. Right? That's a question, question though. I'll get to that in a minute. That's why I let you speak. Though. I let you speak. So, uh, the international language at that time was Greek. Okay. So, <coughs> the main the main thing people were writing these they're writing these subjects, these things that they saw, these histories in Greek. And um, you said about the hour. Right? I want to go to that point about the hour. That's fine. That's fine. <coughs> Sorry, it says this in Acts one seven. It is not for you to know times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. So we can know that this is not for Jesus. I agree with that, by the way. It's not for Jesus to declare the hour, but it's for the Father to declare the hour. I agree. You okay. know what? I'm agreeing with you absolutely. Mm. That verse literally proves Jesus my point. Said that. Uh, that, that Jesus said this. Okay, Jesus said that, yeah? Mm. So look, by the same time, we can see yeah, in the Bible language, yeah, we have to understand when Jesus, <coughs> when uh, in, in the old when the, in the New Testament, sorry, when Jesus clearly stated, we have to be really specific with the language. Mm. No one in the heavens and earth. Yeah, not even the sun. Did he say not even the sun? In his human nature. Yeah. Not even the sun. Yeah. Who's, the sun the... was in his human nature at the time. Oh, right. Let me, okay. finish, let me finish. Not the sun, neither the angels, mm. the heavens and earth, except. And I clearly we have to understand that verse. Okay. When it says except your father, that means literally no one in the world, no person, no entity, they don't know the hour except the father in itself. Would you agree with this so far? But I've told you, if you look at if you look at if you look at if you look at with the Jewish tradition, right? You agree with the Jewish tradition. The father yeah. announces the wedding, yeah. right? Okay. With his son. The son is that, the son yeah, yeah. is the bridegroom. Yeah. It's the father to declare the hour. Yeah. But also, some scholars says right. Some scholars may say like, forget the Greek, right? Some scholars say that Jesus Christ, because he was limited in his human nature, right? He set his he set his um, um the so knowledge. Who doesn't know the hour? The priest. No, no, no. So, priest, no, 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 no. I said, understand the story. Like, said, who doesn't know the hour? Was so, the priest or the, the teacher? I says because some some as you you know you say you don't accept this one. Some scholars also say because Jesus was in his human form, yeah. right? He voluntarily set aside yeah. his attributes yeah. he set aside the knowledge of azawa yeah. which is why at that time the son did not know you know because you the said son did not know at that time you know because you said you know a muslim before right because i just I, it's, it's quite a surprise yes can i just mention a, ask a question yeah so look for example when it comes to is, uh, islam did you leave islam because you had things like for example aisha's marriage and things like this no okay? no no i never knew aisha got married to Muhammad at the age okay. of six okay I, I had an encounter with the Holy Spirit. Okay. Right. I was. I. Well, you I say that's your main reason, firstly. That's 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 the foundation of it. Okay. But my main reason. Can we speak about that. Can we speak, can we speak, speak about that. I'm losing my voice. Because you know, you know the reason why? Because I remember I saw a video of you. Yeah. I believe it was three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. You were speaking to a Muslim individual, like some like normal brother. Yeah. You're speaking about the age of Aisha marriage, and I saw that. Conversation. That was that was not my main point. I hardly bring that up in the park, no, but no, I did see that. I did see that, and I, I, when I saw that, I was like a bit frustrated because I believe. Can I tell you my main point about Muhammad? That's not my main point. That's a bit frustrating because these things are not true. Can I just give you an example why? Because, for example, you know, I think this might clarify your, your perception, yeah? We know Aisha, but your Allah and her. But wait, 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 why are you dragging the topic? No, no, we have to get to the first topic. That's absolutely fine. I refuted no, the time, the hour. You have to accept that. I refuted it. Because you didn't refute it, to be honest. And the thing is, you're just, you're just. But I said to you, I said to you also. Thing is, if you're not Christ was in his humanity. My job is limited his attributes. My job is not to convince. Which is yeah. why at that time he did yeah. not know the hour. Yeah. My, my job is now he knows because, because I'll yeah. tell you why Christ now knows Arab. the hour. I believe you're being Christ now knows the hour because we see it in the book of Revelation. Where? The book of Daniel. Yeah, what did he say? Given John the revelation of the end days. Yeah. So Christ, we can see him. The signs being, of end days, you mean? We can know it in the, the, book, of, of in the book of Revelation. Yeah. We can see Christ given um, John. Yeah. In Revelation. Yeah. And Christ was being worshipped as well. About and the hour. Christ also called About himself God. No, no, he gave he gave. He gave himself the revelation of the last day. He gave himself the revelation of the last day. What does that mean, my friend? What does that mean? Come on. The thing is, it's clear. It's an explicit statement, to be honest with you. But the thing is, my job is not to convince okay. you. My job is but I want to you ask me. I want to ask you a question. The thing is, yeah, look, that's fine. But you, I, you, I, I want to ask you one question. Because I, I'm not okay. So my main conception of Islam is, and I'm st I. See, I keep a simple. What's the reason that you left? I keep a simple. Yeah, the right? foundation. That's the reason why. I but asked. the main thing I have after study Islam, yeah. right? How can I trust a man yeah, yeah. who not only died, right, by poison? Allah couldn't protect that's not him, true, by the way. right? That's not true. He was that's bewitched by a demon. That's not true. Look, that's not true. You and he was also possessed by black magic. How can I trust this man? Let me give you an example. Firstly, that's a big lie to say. Like, and be careful, because look, what I want you to say, I want you to say facts. Yeah, even if you're coming to the park, I want you to say facts. No, the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him did not die by poison. There's no verse in the hadith that says that the Prophet died by poison. Yes, there were times that the Prophet Muhammad sallam, there was a poison and it affected him slightly. But this all happens with Allah's will and that does not affect, can I please respond? Can, and it does not reflect the revelation that Prophet Muhammad sallam, came with.
with. Because Allah says in the Quran that the, the message will be preserved, okay? And Prophet Muhammad, when it comes to the conveying of the message, that was perfect and there was no mistakes. So like human, Allah human, couldn't protect, no, no. Um, he could protect Jesus on the cross. He raised Jesus back up to heaven, to yeah. the heavens, yeah. and Jesus will come to judge the world. Absolutely. But he couldn't protect Muhammad, the greatest example of mankind from poison. But as a Christian, your God could not even save himself, himself from the cross. Brother, it was a prophecy from Come the on, start of Genesis 3.15. Let's, let's Jesus let's Christ will to die for our sins. It's a hero wait, wait, dying wait, wait, for our friend. It's a hero no, dying no, for no, our no, friend. No, for example, God died for your sins. We God don't believe God even, died. Oh Lord, what, what Jesus clearly stated. The, oh Lord, the, the flesh, oh Lord, the flesh. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Hey, listen, we finish the Bible verse. Oh Lord, why have you forsaken me? Your God could not even save himself from the cross and you're talking about okay. Allah. You're talking so about Muhammad. when Benji, Jesus Christ said, no, why have you forsaken me? What does that mean? Wait, 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 you have to get, no, no, wait, no, we'll take it. You're, you're, you're jumping on him. No, no, because we're talking about Prophet Muhammad and you said one of the main foundations of you not accepting Prophet Muhammad. Because that's by black magic. No, no, exactly. Well. So that's the most, unfortunately, that's the most minor. It's a hadith. Wait, wait, look, look. No, I agree. Look, there was in the Magic video. was worked on Allah's messenger look. so that he used to think he had sexual rela relation with his wife, why he had not. How can I trust a man who, had a, who was possessed by black magic? Okay, firstly, for example, when if an individual is, has black magic on them, an individual can save himself from it. Like, for example, as Muslims, if someone does black magic to us, we know what we can do. We can read the, the Quds, we can read the Quran. The best uh, Rukia you can do is the Quran. So we learn lessons from this. But at the same time, the Prophet Muhammad said, when it comes to conveying the message, it was perfect. And why? Because that is said by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. And I'm telling you that your main contention is the Prophet Muhammad was the most truthful individual, yeah? I'm going to speak about Prophet Muhammad He's a truthful individual. He's a sinner, though. No? What do you mean he's a sinner? How? Because what? Jesus was a sinner then. Jesus, no, Jesus, was, Jesus was sinless. It no, says Jesus. when Satan came to Jesus in the wilderness, Jesus Christ defeated every single sin that came, uh, temptation yeah. that came upon him. Yeah. Right? Even the Bible says yeah, Jesus asked for no God. sin is found upon him. That's why right. Jesus asked forgiveness from God. So when Jesus Christ was doing no, no, the Lord's prayer, can you the question, he was teaching us how to can pray. You, answer the question. Lord, he didn't, he didn't ask yes or no? it. Yes or no? Did so when, Jesus asked God for forgiveness? So, okay, so when Jesus asked for forgiveness, he did not he ask did. on he his did. sins. He did. He, did. He, he said it to teach us how to pray. In and Quran, we should ask it. In the Quran, for example, when it tells us, when, when it tells when it tells the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you seek forgiveness, this is something from his humbleness. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked forgiveness from his humbleness. It does not mean that he sinned. Okay, so you cannot use that argument against us. Why is well, somebody going to ask you? So you only you know ask forgiveness from God if you've done something wrong. No, that's not true. He knew he did no, something wrong. What was it? What was the thing he did? What was that thing he did wrong? That's the beauty about Islam. That's the beauty about Islam. We believe we can never go to Jannah with just our good deeds. We believe the only way we can go to Jannah... Hey, it says so in your surah. No, no, you you, 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 no, because you, 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 you lied. That's you lied. That's quite rude. You lied. It says in Surah 47, well, verse 19. You can't do that. So know, O Muhammad, that there's no deity except Allah and ask forgiveness for your sin. What was that sin? Sin. Okay, what is the definition of sin? Tell you something. Sin is described as transgressing against God. Okay, so what was that sin that Muhammad did against yeah? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala? Firstly, in Islam, we have the, the the concept that more, all the prophets from major sins they are free from. Yeah, all the major prophets. Because you need to understand the Islamic terminology. You don't understand the Islamic terminology that could be that could be wrong. For example, like when an individual came uh, to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi a blind man, and he said uh, to turn away from him, Allah corrected him in the Quran. So these things like it could be like uh, a mistake that an individual made. It's but still a sin, though, isn't it? Second, second. It's but, but Jesus didn't know sin. The prophet just say that to the people, as in. It's still a yeah. sin. Of course, because we read the Quran. We read the Quran, so it, it, it's for the people as well. <coughs> but the main point I'm trying to mention to you is that look, in Islam, we have the, the, the foundations, yeah? We have the foundations that we believe in the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. And we believe him because he's a Sadiq al Amin. You know as well, because apparently you came to be Muslim. Are you aware that the Prophet Muhammad was known as Sadiq al Amin, the most truthful? Are you aware of this? We heard that statement, the most faithful, yeah, most truthful. Yeah, most I, I, can't, I can't trust a man who was bewitched. Imagine, I, a lot of people say to me, I've got a jinn inside of me. I am bewitched. They can't trust me. Yeah. If I tell you something, you can't trust me because apparently I am bewitched. The prophet was, right? not, be, no, look, look, the prophet was not bewitched in regards to uh, uh, sending revelations. Yeah? And when an individual attempted to... And but the when, devil still got wait, to wait, it. Wait, How can I trust a man who's possessed? Second, man, second, an individual man. attemped to uh, possess an individual. The prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has ruqiyya. So the thing is, these things like, were of course test to uh, uh, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is a normal thing. But I think he's a prophet. But at the same time, that does not exclude regarding the message. What he came is to worship on Allah. To not do any idol worship. To Tell the Christians that there is no three gods. To tell the Christians that you should not be worshipping a baby. You know why? Because God says in the Quran, do not. As a Muslim, have you read the verse in, when Allah literally says, I do not think if, if, uh, if this gives you goosebumps or not, yeah? Allah says, uh, Jesus and Mary used to eat food. Does that not give you goosebumps? 
very and people. My friend, as I said, Jesus, Jesus Christ, he was limited. He he came as us. He, he came to represent God us. God was limited in his human nature. God was limited in his human nature. He was limited, right? What, like, what, so what, he what was God limited. Nature? So he had to what do. He nature? had to use the toilet. He what had to. God nature? He had to pray because he was limited. Ish, ish, ish. Ish, nice to meet you. My name is Osama. Yeah. Nice to meet you. So Ish, I wanted to ask you when he said that uh, Jesus in his human first, nature. Wait, wait, let's let's let's, let's, let's go back to another point. Let's just skip in the question. That's fine. Before we go to that point, because it's very important. So when he said Jesus in his human nature, he was limited, right? Sorry, limited, right? So was Jesus in his uh, God nature? Was he uh, limited? Okay, I'll explain that. But first of all, you have to answer the question. But come on, you can't. It says here. You ready to answer the question? I'll explain it. Ish, come on. Once the prophet was bewitched, uh, you know, so that he question. began to imagine he had done a thing which he had not done. If Muhammad was hallucinating here, how can I trust his other revelation, whether these were hallucinations or not? How can I trust a man who was who's who was hallucinating no, things from demons? In the Quran, Allah has literally stated that yeah, He has preserved His message, and that means when it comes to the, the conveying of it the message, it wasn't Allah. It's the devil. No, no. It was the devil, my friend. It wasn't on, Allah. What do you mean, devil, man? The most devilish things to do right now, to be honest with you, bro, is worshiping a entity beside God. The fuck. You can't be doing that, bro. Look, you worship a father. You worship a man that used to eat food. You, you worship. We a don't man. worship so, a man. No, because you worship Jesus. Okay, well, you worship divine nature. So when Jesus was a baby, did you worship him? <laughs> so they worship because the divine nature was in Christ. That is we don't, so there's something called nesoterism where you can't divide these two people. That's fine. So, so because the, the divine nature was in Christ, okay. that's who they were worshipping. Okay, so, so they, they weren't, okay. they weren't like idolizing his flesh. Okay, so it was the divine nature of Christ that was in that flesh. So when Jesus uh, was that, a baby, were you worshipping him? I wasn't there at the time. I'm here. I no, worship no, Jesus in heaven. Okay, so he's in heaven. So the people, he's in his no, glorious no, 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 body. No, no, I worship no, him no, now no, when he's no, in heaven. No, the person at that time, the people at that time, when Jesus was a baby, were they worshiping him? They were the Magos, yes. So they were worshiping <laughs> a baby? It's they worship his divine nature. No, but were they worshiping the baby though directly, yeah? No, no. No, no, so, no, you just said they were. No, no. So, so as I said, right? So, so Jesus as a baby, he was God and you had a human nature and you had a God nature, right? So we, as a baby, as a baby. So when so, you was worshiping <coughs> the, the baby, were you worshiping Jesus? So as I said, these, so the divine nature of Christ, he was, he was always there right the divine nature of christ i know that though. he built his glory and the divine spirit of christ dwelt that. within the human Ish, tissue that. Ish, that it's not... like me wearing this jacket Ish, I, know, I know that christ put on human tissue so, baby, so, so that divine the divine spirit of jesus dwelt within the human tissue of christ this is who they were worshiping so you have an example so, of wait, what, can I just, so were they worshiping the baby though huh? were they worshiping that baby no they weren't they weren't watching the baby as like in, as, as the flesh, they're worshiping the baby they worship as the God nature. They, yes, as the God nature. Yes, so as so Jesus. So you was you are worshiping a baby with a God nature, bro. And you're telling me about uh, brother, brother, Come on, brother. Come do you worship Muhammad? Do you worship Muhammad? Do you worship Muhammad? Of course not. So why do you pray to him? How do you pray to him? Atayatul billahi waslawatu wataybatu aslamu alaihi ayhi nabi. He is dead. Why do you why do you pray to him? Peace be upon you, O Prophet. No problem. And if you're gonna say Allah sending these angels to give him greetings. He is dead in the grave. Do you really think? Give me a proof that he's alive in the grave. Outside Islamic sources. Absolutely. Can I, uh, outside Islamic sources. Yes. Wait, wait, wait why? Because why? Wait, 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 wait. Ish, that's a bit stupid now. My criteria is Islamic sources. But how, when I mean for Islam, I'll answer. I got, answer. I've got external sources. Yeah. I'll answer the question. So what was the question that you made about? Um, okay, I understand the question. So when we read the Hijjah, you talked about it. At the Hijjah, yeah. At the Hijjah. You said peace be upon you. Alaykum. Ayyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And also at the same time, there's also verses that we uh, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Yeah. We that's the family of the Prophet as well. So not just the fa uh, uh, Prophet, but the family of the Prophet. So of course, uh, you said you claim to be a Muslim. But this is very basic. If you know that Allah, when we send salat, uh, when, uh, we didn't ask Allah to send sal salutations to the Prophet Muhammad You know the Prophet Muhammad told us to do this. To send salutations upon him. To send he's dead. Upon him. He's dead Wait, though. One second, one second. Come on. Firstly, when I say dead, yes, absolutely. In his physical sense, he's dead. But every single Prophet is alive in the, in the Barzakh, in the Quran, you know. That so, Muhammad, he's second. alive in the grave. Can I finish, can I finish please? Eh? In the Quran, he says, yeah, don't oh, say oh. that she needs this fight. You want some water? <coughs> So in the Quran it says that the Shahids are not dead, yeah? indeed they are alive. So what it means is they are alive in the Barzakh. So of course, like even there's a there's narration the prophets pray in the grave. But we don't believe the prophets are alive in his grave or stuff, like in, in a physical sense. Stuff for Allah. So anyone is there any proof that Muhammad is alive in his grave outside of Islamic sources? What do you mean outside Islamic sources? I'm because outside Islamic we have sources. external sources that rectify the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and the resurrection that he appeared to many people. So we know because external sources say it. External sources outside the Bible. External sources also say that the whole world is one flat. The, yes, and so what is it? The, bi the Bible, the Bible, the, the Bible literally says. But I think we know where the conversation is going everywhere. I think we should just end it. Yeah. But what I would conclude with is that, like, I believe. But I just want to say, no, praying to a dead man, that's a deception from the devil. It's called, we don't, it's called, we don't pray to the it's called necromancy, okay, and the devil second. deceives you. Okay. So by you saying, peace be upon you, O prophet, yes. and he's in the grave, okay. right? The devil is making you commit necromancy, but you question? don't realize it, when it comes to, like When it comes to worshipping a dead person, you do know this is a big shit, and this can take a person out of the fold of Islam. So when you see an individual in Pakistan. Is Allah Is Allah Is Allah Is Allah 
have to let me finish, please. Is that long, Mas? We have to let me finish. Because right now we're speaking about shirk and tawheed, and I believe as a Muslim, these are the most important subjects that we're okay. speaking about. So I need to miss. Uh, uh, I need to like you know, the point that you made. I need to debunk it because when we send salat salatation upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we are not praying to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We are not praying to them, and neither you do. You said peace be upon you, O Prophet. One second, one second. If I say peace be upon you, Rizwan, whatever your name is. Okay, one second. That's pray. That's talking about you. One second. When we, for example, that when we send, when we go to the Prophet, when we go to Medina, for example, and we and we recite like Durud Sharif as in Pakistani uh, yes. language that you must know because I'm saying it for you. Mm. We we recite it, right? These are salutations that we sent upon the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and you know as well, it was through Angel Jibreel, and he, he, he passes the message. Mm. So these are things that we get rewarded on. It does not mean the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is alive in his grave. It does not mean the Prophet can see us and hear us. And it got nothing to do with that. So exactly. Please, 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 but is, is that still? He's still. Is, is he? In, so he in Medina. He's in the grave. He's in the grave, right? And the devil, the devil likes, the devil wants us to commit necromancy. He likes to deceive people. He wants you to think Muhammad is alive, but he's not. And and in Medina, I've literally been to Muhammad's grave. Brother, and when you when prophet, you say peace, peace be upon you, O Prophet, to his grave, yeah. you're literally talking to a dead man in his no, in a graveyard. Listen, yes. listen, we're not we're doing that. Look, for example, when we go to the grave, we say when you go to the graveyard, we say like, uh, may peace be upon you to the people of the grave. Yeah. So it does not mean that literally. No, no, no. no, no, no wait, second. You're telling me, bring no, 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 this is a big no, you had be peace one second, be upon you, O Prophet. Second, That's second, what it means. One second. One second. Look, that talking to him. You're communicating with him. You're not praying to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You're giving him sleep. One second. You're giving him. You're giving him salam. He cannot hear. He's dead. Why you giving him salam? He cannot hear those salutations upon him. Exactly. You're you're proving my point. Wait, wait, wait. You're you're without, talking to a dead man and, and giving him, giving him, him giving him salam. Of Angel Jibreel. And thing is, this is not communication because in Islam, we believe the prophets are passed away. We leave, look, we have to understand the foundation. We leave, believe in the life of the Barzakh. Okay, do you know the Barzakh? Because you claim to be Muslim. Yeah, the, not, not necessarily the afterlife, but Rewards. the life of the grave, yeah? Yeah, yeah? So before we go to the battle day of judgment. Okay. So we believe in this life. We believe there's a life that exists over there. But it does not necessarily, it does not mean that an individual is physically alive because that's not, that's not wrong. So that's why, for example, when the Prophet Muhammad, peace, can I finish, please? Yeah? Once the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him passed away, some, uh, the, the Prophet's uncle, uh, his name is Ibn Abbas, the Umar went to Ibn Abbas, the Prophet's uncle, to do a dua for us as like an intermediary, but in the in the permissible sense, in the permissible sense. So that means if we believe the Prophet Muhammad can hear us and see, see us, we would go to the grave and we would ask him for help and worship. And of course, we you know, guys do that, yes. You know, people in Pakistan do that, yes. I agree with you. You're from, Arabia, yes. Pakistan, right? Yes, yes. When they go to the grave, what do they do? They literally give him like greetings what he, what and they, they literally do dua there as well. Priest, that's wrong. Yes, that's wrong. As, as a Muslim, yes. we believe that's wrong. You cannot go to the grave. Mm. Yeah, cannot but, but, but that's what I'm saying. When you say Ayyuhan Nabi, right? Your literature well, said, I peace be upon, upon you, a prophet. You're repeating again, boys. You don't realize it. You're not listening to that. That's not a prayer to him. Because, brother, brother, right? It says, like, it says, different, Namaz, different Salah. Different okay, Salah is, o, is like only, Salah away. is only for Allah, right? It's a good example. Namaz, Namaz is only for Allah. But when you're talking about, but when you're saying, peace be upon your prophet, you're associating him with Allah in worship. And the most unforgivable sin in Islam is associating upon with Allah. This brother, this brother mentioned a good example. For example, let's say once someone's father passes away, yeah? He asks Allah, yeah? Allah forgive all of his sins, yeah? Yeah, okay. Allah, okay, can I, bro, you know, I've hardly spoken wait, to my, come wait, on. Wait, wait. So in that, you can wait. make dua for somebody yeah. after the namaz, when you do your dua. But during your salah, which is only for Allah, you do your salah, you do your intention. I make two, uh, I make intention to read two sunnah, two first for Allah, right? Okay, wait one second, where's your criteria so from? When you, you when, you, your when you read namaz, namaz yeah. right? Yeah. Um, you make your intention before reading, yeah. right? What do you say with the intention? So what's that intention you read? What do you mean? Like, uh, what we're going to be so, safe? So you, yeah, so we're going to be safe with Allah. It depends. You're talking about the condition of Salah. It's it's good, yeah, in Salah. So when you, salah, you have to have the intention that you're going to be worshiping Allah. Exactly. Worship exactly. Worship exactly. Worshiping Allah. One second. So during, and, and when, you, when you're doing, when you're example. saying at that's, 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 that's during your Salah. That's during your Salah. For example, that's during your Salah. Let's say right now. That's during your Salah. Let's say right now, yeah, I do something good for him, yeah? And then let's say he's water and I give him water because he's thirsty. I am doing an act of worship. That's one thing we need to understand. This is an act of worship. But the act of, yeah, can be else. yeah, exactly. Brother, you're not, you're no, not explaining second, it, man. Second. It's an act of worship. No, 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 brother, wait, wait. The reward no. comes from Allah. No, no, is, but no, no, no. Let's change when, the when, when, okay. when you're going, brother, brother, I'm talking to you. 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 When you're going like this, right? When you're reading the mass, you're being stubborn. It's only meant to be for Allah, right? It's only meant to be for Allah. But when you say Attayatulillahi, that's during your salah. And during your salah, which is meant to be for Allah, you're associating Muhammad with Allah. I responded three, four times now, and it's quite crazy if you believe that Jesus, the Almighty, the all powerful, the God, apparently he came as a curse, and by definition. Okay, so when wait, Jesus wait, wait, Christ wait, 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 said, wait, wait, wait. when the Bible. 
Are you no, because you would not let me speak, no, right? Because that's two years. So no, I have I'm to speak. Conversation no, no, no. Then. So in the book of Galatians... Are you preaching? Are you preaching? Are you preaching? So shame the worst person you can Are you preaching? Are you preaching? No, no, I'm, I'm, so I'm, trying, I'm trying to say God something, but you're not, let, you're not letting me explain. Was God sent as a curse? Simple yes or no? Okay, so it, I, don't, I can explain in my way. So simple yes or no? He wasn't, he wasn't, he's not, Jesus is not a curse, okay? He was sent as a curse. But he is a curse in the nature because our sin was upon him. Our sins was upon the human nature of Christ. So you believe God? Which is why he was made a curse for mankind. Do you believe God? Because he bore our sins. He bore our sins. Do you believe God by definition is pious? What do you mean by pious? Righteous, righteous. So in, his in, his, in, in his nature, yes. Absolutely. So can God be righteous, but at the same time, be sent as a curse? Brother, he's, he's not, he's not a curse. contradiction, my Do you know what curse means? That's a contradiction. Okay. A contradiction. When the Bible... Yeah, is a curse? When the, okay, so in the book of Galatians, right? It says, curse is anybody who's hung by a pole, right? It's That's because one That's one time. Jesus Christ, one time. our sins was upon Christ. Yeah. Jesus was perfect. He has no sin done but upon him. Curse has transferred but our Jesus sin God, right? was upon him really? in his human tissue, so your, in his curse, human nature. So at that time, because he had to die yeah. for us, our sins was upon him. Yeah. Yes, at that time he was I, made a curse for us. So yes. can someone be a curse and be good at the same time? Can I, I, be I, I, told you, the same brother, time? I told you, my friend. No, no, answer the question. He's, can it's, someone, it's not, you, we can see, answer, we can see. Are we in the conversation? Yes, we right, please okay. be sincere. I don't know what your agenda is. If you're going to speak, be sincere, yeah? Okay, fine. Jesus was not cursed. Our sins was upon him, yes. He took the curse. Right, brother, so keep a wrap up for what the I don't know, it's a long conversation. I know, it's yes. a long conversation. <laughs> I'm just waiting a moment. I'll talk. It was a long it was a long conversation with that guy. Like I don't know, he brought up many many arguments about the knowing the hour. Refuted that, but he didn't go when I start, when I wanted to ask him questions of myself, he wouldn't he wouldn't answer. But here he was just saying about Jesus Christ being a cursed man, but Jesus Christ was not cursed. Our sins was upon Christ, right? Which is why Jesus Christ was made a curse. In his divine nature, in his nature, he's not a cursed person. Because our sins was upon Christ, he bore our sins, which is why at that time, yes, the curse was upon him. And this man also said, like, uh, where is the Aramaic Bible? That's one question he brought up. But he does not realize Jesus spoke in Aramaic, Hebrew and Greek. And Greek at that time was an interna international language. So these disciples, these apostles were writing it, was, write, was write, writing these gospels in Greek. And yeah, the, the time, the hour, that's pretty much been refuted. He didn't answer that. They didn't answer the questions about Muhammad being possessed by black magic, Muhammad being bewitched, or Allah being un unknowing. So yeah, that's that's all. That's it, my friend. But yeah, so, praise Jesus Christ, man. Praise so, Jesus Christ. So, as a next Muslim, any any final yeah. words, messages that you like to give the Muslim community watching this that perhaps might believe that you're not real and a real ex-Muslim, brother. Just, just I don't have to say anything. And I, I look like an ex-Muslim, my friend. <laughs> right? Why? 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 I, I'm Pakistani, but I look like an ex-Muslim. I look. Like, Okay, and brother, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Narahman, Narahim, Maliki, Yawmuddin. I don't want to go like this, right? I worship in spirit and truth. Amen. God has freed me from all these weird, ah, weird things. But Jesus Christ says, worship him in spirit and truth. Yeah. And my, my, my main thing I want to say to my Muslim brothers and sisters yeah, is that Islam, right? Yeah. You're born into Islam as Muslims say. You're a Muslim because of your parents, because of the pride and honor you hold. Yes. Okay, my friends, be humble. Humble yourself as a child, like Jesus said. And, come out and when you humble yourself and come out of your comfort zone, you will receive the truth. I promise you, as a Muslim, you have received no connection with Allah. You have never felt His presence. You have never heard His voice. And by coming to Christianity, I have felt a big difference. I've felt the presence of God. I've heard the voices of God. I felt the peace that surpasses all understanding from God. And God has healed me from all things which Allah couldn't do. My friend, I promise you, I am not, I am not lying. One day we will stand for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And everyone said, and everyone said, Amen. 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 Amen.